and welcome back to Age of Empires 3 History. Today we're moving on to the Japanese. The Sengoku, or Warring States period, lasted roughly from 1478 to 1605. It was a time of tremendous tremendous social upheaval and political strife in Japan, defined by an almost endless state of war. The centralized government of the reigning Ashikaga shogunate had began to lose the loyalty of many daimyo, or feudal lords, across Japan. Individual provinces were beginning, in turn, inwards, and busy themselves with local matters. This was especially true of those domains far from Kyoto, the central power. Okay. Holy cow. Okay. There we go. Many factors contributed to the gradual fragmentation of the shogunate. Trade with China was growing rapidly, developing the, developing the Japanese economy and boosting the importance of money to local economies. Commercial cities began to appear across the countryside and a great desire for the local autonomy developed, touching all classes of the social hierarchy. Soon frustrated over rising taxes and the damage done by families, famines, and earthquakes, peasants began to revolt. Yeah, they're always revolting. As chaos began to take hold of the rural villages, unrest broke out in Kyoto, where a dispute over shogunal succession triggered the Onan War, 1467, in 1477, the Hosokawa family and its allies clashed with the y Yamana family over the right to wield Japan's central. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be central authority. They just fucked up. This conflict raged for 11 years, further weakening the world, the role of the shogunate, and it eventually spread out to the waiting powder keg that became the surrounding provinces. Okay. Regional Daimyo suddenly rose up to take control where the central authority had none. During this time, notable clans such as the Takeda and the Amagawa were able to greatly expand their spheres of influence. This was not true of all local lords, however as many were overtaken by their own subordinates and replaced. This was known as <coughs> Gido Gujo, literally translated to mean the underlying, underlying, in conquers the overlord? The underlying conquers the overlord. Oh my god, okay. Okay. Century passed and the feudal warring continued even as the possibility for peace grew on the horizon. Oda Nobunaga, who had emerged from obscurity to seize power over much of central Japan, seemed poised to unite the scrabbling clans into the line. But before he could, Nobunaga fell victim to treachery of one of his own generals in 1582. This left the path to power open for whoever had the ambitions to take it. One of Nobunaga's most trusted underlings, a general and former foot soldier named Toyotomi Hideroshi, stepped in where his predecessors had left off and continued to work to unify the feuding families. Hideyoshi could never become a true shogun, as he was common birth, but he did consolidate enough power to be named in the imperial region by the Emperor of Japan. After several ill-fated invasions of Korea, Hideyoshi died in 1598, without leaving a capable successor to his dynasty. Again, the nature te teethered, tethered precariously on the edge of chaos. It was then the powerful daimyo of Kanto province. Toikugawa Li Shun chose to make his move. One he had been planning for years. And they don't say anything about that after. So I'll be back next time with the Ottomans. See ya then. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay.